Yes, I have a mobile order for Bethany F. Thank you so much. This morning I got to go to a couple different yarn shops around the Denver area. This is the first one that I went to and they had this really cool knitted open close sign. Um, it was kind of smaller on, on the yarn storefront but this was all the yarn that they had. Um, a lot of kind of commercial type yarn um, but it was still really fun to see and I found a few things. Um, in the store that I'd actually been looking at online that I will show you in just a little bit. This was the second store that I got to go to today. Um, it was my favorite out of the two. Um, the lady at the counter was super friendly and nice and was offering to help and showed me where all the yarn was. This yarn um, is all from a local dyer. It was all really bright and pretty. Um, and I just loved all the bright colors here. This was really cool. I love how they braided the yarn instead of hanging it. Um, I found that pretty unique. Here is my confused face because it was 60 degrees earlier and here it's actually snowing, so fun. Hey guys! So I am at Walmart and I am just waiting to get my groceries. I do the pickup order, um, so if I get off abruptly it's because they're coming with my groceries. Um, people are being really strange. But um, I've been out shopping this morning. I went to um, Wool and Berry had an open house um, type thing for their yarn. They had like some Christmas yarn. So I went there this morning and that was an hour away from the house. Um, so we are like west, no, we are east of Denver and they are north. So I, I saw a whole bunch of, of Denver doing that way. And then I was like, I want to go to Target because I don't have any kids. So I can just go and look and browse. And I did, um, I found a couple things, I found some Christmas things for people and things like that, that we needed. Um, but yeah. Didn't really find too much, which is good. Living in a small space 
really makes you not want to buy a whole bunch because you're like, where am I going to store that when Christmas is over? Where am I going to do that? So yeah, that was fun. But here comes my order. So I'm going to have to get off, but we'll chat a little bit more later. to a local diner for dinner. It was really yummy food. We were all starving, um, but you'll see the food in a second and it was really good. We'll be going back sometime soon. We stopped at Kroger and picked up a few things that Walmart didn't have. So when we got home, it was putting everything away and straightening up a bit around the house, turning the Christmas lights on, all that fun stuff. This is Pearl. Um, she is an absolute mess and she loves my husband Brian so much. You will see her go directly to him and then curl up on his chest and get very comfy like she does every time he sits there. Goodness, it was a busy day. Um, I am exhausted again. Um, I am not an early riser normally, but I wanted to go see um, 
Oh my gosh. Wool, woolberry? Wool, hold on. Yeah, woolberry in my mind. See, I'm gone. I'm just gone already. But I wanted to go and check out their open house this morning. Um, and I didn't want to go too late because I was afraid everything would sell out. So I went there and I had a lot of fun. And then you'll have seen that I went to the yarn stores. Um, the yarn stores weren't as exciting as I was hoping they were going to be. Again, I think I am just an online shopper. Um, I don't know. I think that's just my jam and I need to like lean into that and just shop online. But I did get a few things at all the places that I went. Um, I'm kind of like that person that if I go in a small business, I really want to at least purchase something. Um, I feel really bad like and guilty if I don't. Um, so I did buy a few things, um, little things at both of the yarn stores that I went to. And then I got some yarn that I'm going to show you here in a second from Woolberry. And um, there was another yarn store that I wanted to go to, but it was in downtown Denver. And when I was driving down there, it, it was extremely busy. Um, they were having like a convention or something because there were like high school, college age kids everywhere. Um, and they all had like backpacks and like notebooks and it wasn't school. It was definitely like a convention type thing. So I don't know what was happening. Um, but when I drove by where the yarn store was supposed to be, I couldn't physically see it. And the parking was like $18. And I didn't want to pay to park and then find out that the yarn store wasn't there anymore or anything like that. So I just decided to keep driving and go somewhere else. Um, and you've seen we drive that big old truck. So yeah, it's not the easiest thing to park in small, small spaces. And yeah, I just was like, nope, not meant to be. So we're just going to go somewhere else. So let me show you what I got. Um, Yes, so this is what I got. I went to Woolberry first, um, and I've never actually purchased her yarn before. I've been following her for a long time. Um, it's fun because her name is Bethany too, so I think that's just an automatic connection for me. Um, but I was like thinking of getting one skein, and then I saw these two, and I couldn't not get them both because I feel like they're going to go together really, really well. So these are the two that I got. This one is Glisten and this is Gingerbread. Um, and I just think that they are stunning. This is on her Berry Cashmere. Um, so it's 80% um, Merino, 10% Cashmere, and 10% Nylon. So it's got that really, really pretty like twist that you can see. So I'm really loving those two. So pretty. Um, I didn't have anything in mind to make with them when I was purchasing, but um, I have a cowl from, I can't remember what it's called right now. I'll put it on the screen for you. But it's um, a cowl by Hohi Locatelli that I really wanna make. And I'm thinking if I use these two and maybe pair another color out of my stash with it, that, that would be really pretty. So I'm thinking about that, but I really like these both. These, I think, I think these are only colors available at the pop-up. Um, so yeah, it was fun. It was really neat. So I got those at Wool and Berries, and then um, I went a few other places. I took a little footage in Target, but it was kind of awkward and seemed out of place when I was editing. So you won't be seeing that. <laughs> but I did go to Target. Um, let's see, what did I get next? So the next place I went. I purchased, I made two purchases there because the first thing I saw were these stitch markers. I'd never seen them before, but they're like little flowers. They're really, really cute. Um, there was a purple set that I really wanted, but it was just circles and not flowers. So I went with the blue set um, and I bought this and then was like, okay, I'm done. I'm walking out. And then I saw these, which are labels by Kate M. And I've actually been looking for them on, I've been looking at them online. They're designed in Australia and made in China. So I think they actually ship from overseas. The ones I was looking at are from overseas. Um, I have a friend who has used these before and it looks so good. So let me get you out one and show you. 
Um, that comes 10 in a pack, but I thought I might as well just buy two and then I'll have plenty. And if I want to share with anybody, I can. Oh my gosh, come out. Are you going to come out? Okay, so this is what they look like. These cute little handmade thingamabobs. Um, so I, yeah, they make your garment look legit when you put that in there. So I got those there. I feel like he was kind of annoyed that I came back to buy two things, but I really wanted them. So anyways, that's what I did. Um, and then at the other store, the second store that I went to, I got some soap, which smells really good. Um, I don't know if this is like a local person. It's Muddy Mint Handcrafted. And this is Campfire Coffee. And then I also got these cute little stitch markers and it says they're handmade in, um, in California, but it's like a robin's egg and things like that. Oh, it'd be helpful if I put it like in the middle, right? So that's what I got at those stores. So yeah, not too terribly much, but just enough, I think. Supported a little local business and got some pretty yarn as well. And then you saw me open my Advents. Um, I'm so thrilled with Advents this year. Um, if you watched my Vlogmas last year, you will have seen how disappointed I was with my Advent. Um, so this year, I'm loving them all so far. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm totally happy with what I did this year. But here are the ones that I got um, today, day two. So blush yarns, moon glow, and then this is from my friend Summer in the Lemon Stitches membership. Um, I love this one so much. So that's so cute. Um, and then we need to wind this one up and then of course that one's gonna go in my little pile. But um, speaking of Advent projects, they haven't been going the best. I have actually only knit it for about 30 minutes today. We were super busy and then I was editing because I was gone all day and then we went to dinner, picked up some more groceries and like all the things, just all the things. So I haven't done that much today, but I did get my stripes done just a few minutes ago. So this is what I have on the Cozy Knitter Advent and I have it done on both my little gingerbread man Ava. so I have those both ready for tomorrow and ready to go um, and they are just hanging out in my my trusty my trusty bag which is cotton tail farms I think I said cotton land yesterday it's cotton tail um, but I love this I carried it all day again today um, yeah it's the best and I've already started using my other bags so I have my advent shawl in here and I have cast it on um, and that's about all I've done just cast it on so you will have seen me yesterday ball up the yarn and cast on it was like 350 stitches I think so yeah it's a lot and I think I've knit like 30 stitches of those maybe. So I'm gonna work on that in a few minutes after I am done doing this. And then the next day is this color. So whatever, it'd be better if I did it this way. This color, do I think it's gonna be so pretty? I'm so excited. I'm really excited to see what tomorrow's is and to open um, Sabres tomorrow since we're doing it every other day. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping to work on that. Tomorrow I am hoping to do nothing um, yeah, nothing. I don't want to do anything tomorrow. I'm going to sit on the couch and knit and watch Vlogmas. Um, I'm catching up on some people's Vlogmases, which is fun and I'm enjoying. So yeah, tell me who you're watching in Vlogmas. Um, if you have some ideas, I'll be watching them throughout and I'll tag everybody that I watch that you see. Um, so like earlier, I was watching Knitty Natty and then also my friend Allison, who is a Naptime Knitting Podcast. She's doing her first year. Um, so she will be linked down below. And of course, everyone knows who Natalie is. So 
she's also linked down below. But I am going to go knit some and probably watch some more Vlogmas. So I will see you tomorrow.